Welcome to Biology Tutor. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button to get notifications. Today we are going to discuss about important MCQs of food analysis. First question, which analytical method is employed to detect pesticide residues in fruits and vegetables as per FSSA regulations? GCMS, gas chromatography, mass spectroscopy, high performance liquid chromatography, thin layer chromatography, nuclear magnetic resonance. Here answer is option A, GCMS. Second question, what is the primary purpose of Jalal method in food analysis? A, estimation of sugar conduct. B. Determination of fat content. C. Protein quantification. D. Moisture content. Here answer is option C. Protein quantification. Third question. What does the term LOD refers to in food testing protocols? Limit of detection. Level of dilution. Loss on drying. Linearity of determination. Here answer is option A. Limit of detection. Fourth question. Which microorganism is used as an indicator organism for fecal contamination in food analysis? Salmonella typhi, E. coli, Staphylococcus aureus, Bacillus cereus. Common example is B. E. Fifth question. Which of the following tests is performed to detect adulteration in key? Powdin test, titrometric method, Sudan 4 test, saponification test. Here answer is option A, Baudin test. The furfural and Baudin tests are standard methods that were implemented by the labs to ensure the purity of key. The adulteration of key with sesame oil is detected by the furfural test, whereas the Baudin test detects the presence of banaspati, hydrogenated fat, refined vegetable oil, and animal fats in key. Sixth question. What type of contamination is typically detected using inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, ICPMS, microbial contamination, heavy metals, pesticide residues, nutritional composition? Here answer is option B, heavy metals. Food safety officer book is available with 1000 MCQs from all sections. You can contact these numbers. Uh, Amazon link is available in the description for direct purchase. Eighth question, the peroxide value in edible oils is an indicator of A. Rancidity, B. Unsaturation, C. Adulteration, D. Smoke point. Here answer is option A. Rancidity. Peroxide value is primarily an indication of oil oxidation. Hydroperoxide formation. Fully refined oil after deodorization has a peroxide value of 0. Peroxide value steadily increases post deodorization. Peroxide value is determined by reacting the oil with iodine followed by titration with sodium thiosulfate. Peroxide values of fresh oils are less than 10 milli equivalents per kg. When the peroxide value is between 30 and 40 milli equivalents per kg, a rancid taste is noticeable. Ninth question. Which indicator is commonly used to detect spoilage in canned foods? A. Sulfur dioxide content, B. Tin content, C. pH levels, D. Gas formation. Your answer is option D. Gas formation. Tenth question. Which parameter is moni monitored to ensure the safety of packaged water? Total, di total dissolved solids, water hardness, free chlorine residual, all of the above. Your answer is option D. All of the above. Eleventh question. Which instrument in is most suitable for measuring the refractive index of edible oils? Polarimeter, refractometer, viscometer, spectrophotometer. Here answer is option B, refractometer. Twelfth question. What is the role of methylene blue reduction test in milk analysis? Detect fat content, measure microbial load, determine protein content, assess moisture level. Here answer is Option B. Measure microbial load. Thirteenth question. Which analysis ensures the authenticity of honey according to FSSAI? Fix test, pH measurement, sugar profile analysis, all of the above. Your answer is option D. All of the above. Fourteenth question. Which indicator is used to evaluate protein quality in infant formulas? 
एल्डाल नाइट्रोजन प्रोटीन डाइजेस्टिबिलिटी करेक्टेड अमीनो एसिड पी डी सी ए एस बायोर टेस्ट ब्रॉडफोर्ड असे हियर आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी प्रोटीन डाइजेस्टिबिलिटी करेक्टेड अमीनो एसिड स्कोर 15th question FSSAI approved standard for labeling allergens include which of the following nuts and seeds gluten lactose all of the above here answer is option D all of the above question number 16 the bromate test is used to check for adulteration in which of the food item a milk b bread c ghee d honey here answer is option b bread the qualitative test was performed directly on a portion of each bread sample using 2 ml of 0.01 molar promethazine and 0.6 ml of 12 molar hydrochloric acid the change in color of each bread sample to pink indicates the presence of potassium bromate 17th question the thio barbituric acid test is used to measure the level of what in food a free radicals b lipid oxidation c protein denaturation d water activity here answer is option b lipid oxidation 18th question in food analysis which is a key method to determine the iodine value of fats and oils titration with which solution b gravimetric method c gas chromatography d spectrophotometry here answer is option a titration with which solution The Witts method involves the addition of a solution of iodine monochloride in a mixture of acetic acid and cyclohexane to a test sample. After iodine addition to the double bonds has occurred, the excess iodine monochloride is reduced to free iodine by addition of potassium iodide solution and water. Food safety officer book is available with 1000 MCQs from all sections. Contact to these numbers. Amazon link is available in the description. Question number 19. What parameter is used to assess the shelf life of packaged meat? Thio barbituric acid value, water activity, total plate count, all of the above. Here answer is option D, all of the above. 20. Question number 20 which test is prescribed for the detection of argimon oil in edible oils a nitric acid test b bowden test c spot test d ferric chloride test here answer is option a nitric acid test nitric acid test followed by two four drops of concentration of sulfuric acid and shake a crimson red or deep orange red color develops within 20 to 30 seconds if argimon oil adulteration is present question number 21 in fssa regulated milk testing which adulterant is detected using the soap lather test detergent urea starch sodium bicarbonate here answer is option a detergent if milk is adulterated with detergent it forms dense lather pure milk pure milk will form very thin foam layer due to agitation 22 What does a high saponification value in fats and oils indicate? A high amount of medium and short chain fatty acids. B presence of trans fats. C oxidation of lipids. D adulteration with paraffin wax. Here answer is option A. High amount of medium and short chain fatty acids. The saponification value is sometimes used to check for adulteration. The higher the saponification number, the more capable the oil is in making soap. Higher triglyceride saponification value suggests more medium and short chain fatty acids. 23. Which chemical is used to test adulteration of starch in milk? Iodine solution, Benedict's reagent, Fehling solution, lead acetate. Your answer is option A, iodine solution. Question number 24. In the context of serial analysis, what does falling number test measure? Starch quality, gluten content, protein solubility, fiber content. Here answer is option A, starch quality. The higher the falling number means it takes longer for the plunger to fall. A low falling number indicates the enzymatic process of the starch breaking down has begun to occur. So 
the lower the number the more enzymatic activity has occurred causing the starch to break down food safety officer book is available with 1000 mcqs from all sections you can contact these numbers amazon link is available in the description last question 25 what type of adulteration is detected using the ferric chloride test in food a salicylic acid in beverages b urea in milk c methanol yellow in spices d aluminum salts in bakery products your answer is option a salicylic acid in beverages thank you if you like this channel please share and subscribe don't forget to click the bell button to get notifications